Hi, and welcome to this Fornaf coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at Fornaf, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask questions via the GoToWebinar question, go question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we're going to look at adding tables to your Business Central report without writing code. To demonstrate how to do this, we'll be use the customer list from the Fornav report pack. To this, re to this report, I will add a list of open orders per customer. However, you can add tables to any Fornav report from any extension using the instructions from this coffee break. To demonstrate how to add tables to a Fornav report, to a Fornav report layout, I'm going to use these steps. The prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will add a, a table to my report data set. In step three, I will add sections to my report so I can display some data. In the fourth and final step, I will add a calculated field and sorting to the data item. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be adding tables to a Fornaf report in, in a Business Central Cloud environment with the Business Central 2020 Wave 1 release, or Business Central 16, as it's more commonly known. I've installed the Fornaf extension and I've executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Of course, everything I do today is also available on Business Central on-prem. Uh, please ensure that you're using Fornaf version 5.2 or above. I also have the Fornaf de designer installed on my PC. Fornaf Designer can be downloaded from the Fornaf website. I can add all my changes straight into the Fornaf layout, so modifying the extension is not needed. All I need to do is run the report from the Fornaf setup and select Design. This will open the Fornaf Designer. So let's go and find my report. Fornaf comes with a complete list of all the uh, installed Fornaf reports, either uh, reports from the report pack or any custom reports that you might have installed or created. When I press design, Fornaf will open the report in the Fornaf designer and I can edit the report. So let's preview the report, see what it looks like uh, at the moment. So we can uh, see what has changed once I've added some stuff to the report. So there we go, just a plain list of all my customers in my Business Central Cloud environment. There's not many, but there's enough to, uh, to demonstrate how, to, how all, this, all of this works. In order to add a table to a Fornaf report, I need to find a parent table for it. Once I have found it, I can simply right click it, click it and, and, and add a new data item. So this report is fairly simple. There's only one parent data item, which is the list, which is a list of all the customers. And to add a new data item or a new table to it, I right click it, I insert a section and I say data item. Once this data item has been created and I need to set the properties for this data item because I need to tell for enough which table, uh, which business central table I'm using. So I am drilling down into the data item table and here I can search all of the tables in my Business Central database, and I'll use the sales header table. The next thing I need to set is the data item link. So I need to set the link between the parent data item and the new data item that I have added. So once again, I drill down and I select the field of the new table that I want to use as a link or as a filter field. So I use sell to customer number, and I will set that the reference field number. So right now, this uh, data item, this table will only display the records that are related to the customer that is currently displayed on the report. So I hit OK. The last thing I need to add is any, um, any fur further filtering on the table. I'm working with the sales header document today, the sales header table which has uh, not just sales orders in it, but it also has sales quotes and unposted sales invoices, et cetera. So I need to select, uh, I need to filter the document type on the constant value of order. And right here I can pull down and I can find any value that I can filter on right here. 
So we hit OK and hit Preview. There we go. Sandbox is sometimes a little bit slow. And once I preview the report, you will notice that nothing has changed because I haven't actually added any uh, any information on the uh, on the report yet. All I did was add a new uh, a new table to my report. So once I have added the new table to my report, I can add sections for those tables. Sections are where Fornav displays data in the report. And for now, I will add a header and a body. So once again, I go to Fornav and I will find my new data item. And I can right click this and I can insert a section. And I can, oh, today I will insert a header section. And I will insert a body section. The header section is simply a section that is displayed above all the records. The body will display uh, one uh, section per entry in the table. So if I want to add, uh, display some, some data on, this, uh, on these sections, I will simply go and find my sales header in my field list. And right here, I now have all of the fields that are uh, in my sales header table in Business Central. So I can select the number field, I'm going to select the document date field and I'm going to select the status field, which is all the way at the bottom. And I can drag these into my report and because I've selected all of all three of them with the control key clicked or select pressed for enough, uh, once I drag them all to my report for enough, will actually make a nice table for me. Then in the header section, I'm, I want to add some, uh, some table headers. So I can simply add the field captions for the fields that I have just added. So again, number, and with control key pressed, I'm going to select document date. And once again, all the way to the bottom for status, drag them into my header section. Let's adjust the height. And let's make these blue, bright blue, so I can actually see what, uh, easily see what I've changed. Do the same for my body section. There we go. So let's preview my report. And once I preview my report, you will notice that I get uh, new sections on my report. And when I zoom in, you will notice that the uh, Customer 1000 A Datum Corporation has two sales orders in this database. Uh, which are one and two, and the document dates are uh, 2nd of April and the 1st of May. So what happens if I want to uh, sort the data in my table uh, in a different way? At the moment, the table is sorted from the lowest number to the highest number. And I would like to sort it from the uh, most recent document date to the oldest document date. To do that, I, once again, I go into my sales header properties. And in the sales header properties, I drill down again into the data item table view, where apart from the filter settings, where we filtered on the document type is order, I can also set the sorting order. So I will set that to descending for this uh, for the time being. And I want to select the fields that the document is sorted on. At the moment it's sorted on document type, then number. So I can sort this on pretty much everything that's in my data set. So I'm going to say sort on document date first, then document type, and then document number. Let's click OK and hit preview again. And see what changes we have. Let's zoom in a little bit. And you will notice that on uh, for the A datum corporations, the sales or sales headers are now displayed the earliest document date first and the latest document date last. Then I'm not quite happy yet. 
because I also want to show the amount uh, of, the, of that particular sales order. So let's insert a cell into my table. Let's insert a cell here. Let's insert a cell here. And let's add the amount for the document. So I will add the field caption. And I'm going to add the amount to my, uh, to my body line, which is sales header dot amount. Now sales header dot amount is not actually a field in the database. It is what is called a calculated field, which means that Business Central calculates the, the value of the field based on some uh, based on some things that uh, that the programmers have set into uh, into the table. In order to calculate these fields, we need to tell Fornaf to do this. So once again, I go to the property of my sales header and I go to my calculated fields. And when I drill down into this, I can find all of the calculated fields that I can set to calculate. At the moment, all I want to calculate is the amount, so I set OK. And hit preview. And when I go and preview my report, you will notice that I now have the uh, the amounts of the sale of those uh, particular sales headers. I'm not quite happy yet because right now I want to add a total amount to my uh, to my section as well. So let's go back to my four and a half designer and I'm going to insert a footer section. The footer section is always displayed at the bottom of my uh, uh, of my data item. And in this footer section, I'm going to add from the field header the amount field. So let's add this. And in front of this, I'm going to add my standard caption total. It's useful that they're there so I don't have to type them all myself. So, and let's give this a bit of a recognizable color as well. Let's make it red with white text. So what I want for enough to do is calculate the amounts of my sales headers and display them at the, at the bottom of my of my data item. In order to tell for enough it needs to calculate the amount, I need to set the total fields property of the corresponding data item of the corresponding table. So then it starts calculating the totals for the fields that I uh, set here. For enough has automatically de detected that I have added the amount field on a footer. So it automatically set the total fields to amount. So let's preview my report and see what for now does now. There we go. I see some red fields. And when I zoom in, I have my total and the total amount. And I've uh, I did calculate uh, this yesterday, so to make sure that the calculations are correct and they are correct, this is the total for these particular sales headers. So let's recap what we just did. In our sandbox environment of Business Central, we have modified the FORNAV layout. We have added a table to the report and set the data item link properties. We have added the header and the body section to our report so we can display the data from the new table. And finally, we have set the sorting and I have added the calculated and the total field. Thank you for listening to me so far. Mark, do we have any questions at the moment? Yeah, thank you, René. And uh, the answer is no. At the moment, we don't have any uh, questions. So we're going to give the audience uh, a chance to type questions while we go to the next slide where we list the resources. If you want to know more about this, uh, first of all, of course, you can go to our website. On our website, fornav.com, uh, you can find the uh, download site. Uh, on the download site, you can download the designer that you need to make changes to the report. The reports you can find in Microsoft App Source. Uh, simply log into Microsoft App Source with your uh, Business Central account, and you can add the, the reports to your Business Central tenant. All of these coffee breaks are recorded and combined on our YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you will also find um, all of our pre-recorded webinars, 
Um, every time we make a big release, we also do a webinar. And if you have any questions related uh, to any of these uh, coffee breaks or to the products, uh, don't hesitate to send an email uh, to support at fornav.com. So we still don't have any questions, so let's go to the announcement of the uh, next coffee breaks. So as I said, all of the previous coffee breaks are on our YouTube channel. Um, and if you are watching this on YouTube, you may also want to browse forward because the coming coffee breaks may already be there. Next week, we're going to get data from related business central tables without writing code, which is somewhat related to what René showed today, uh, but still uh, a little bit different. Um, and we have a lot of uh, coming sessions that we want to do either live or uh, recorded. It uh, doesn't mean that we can uh, that we can catch everything. You may still have questions on, on something that you want to do. Um, so for that, let's go to the last slide. If you suggest a topic for a coffee break um, and you your topic will be selected, not only will you get a, a very detailed answer to your question, but we're also going to give you a, a gift certificate as a thank you uh, for asking a question and for making us uh, giving us inspiration. Uh, please send these suggestions to info at fornav.com. Um, and we will look at those uh, and evaluate. So with that, we are at the end. No questions. So Rene, I guess you did a great job. Uh, thanks a lot. And let's uh, see each other in another webinar. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.